the CAF classes work a little differently from the other classes in mm -hmm. that the teachers aren't able to go in and put assignments in like the other classes do and those mm -hmm. assignments is what then calculate the marking period grade mm -hmm. because this is all online and mm -hmm. the online program is monitoring those assignments we can't actually put a grade in till the mm -hmm. student finishes the class okay. so this is the way we monitor their progress in those classes okay um, so this is his he's in two classes here's mm -hmm. his algebra and here's his science mm -hmm. and there's two things that we look at one is is he is the grade a passing grade for the work that's been completed. Mm -hmm. So here's his overall grade in math, a mm -hmm. 75 would round to, and his overall grade in what he's done in science is a 93. Mm -hmm. The other piece to look at is how much of the class has he finished. Mm -hmm. And normally, we like all the students to finish 100% is the mm -hmm. goal, um, but the minimum that we're able to accept in um, special circumstances would be a 70% complete. Mm -hmm. That's kind of equated to the number of days a student's allowed to miss a class. If mm -hmm. you do the math, it's roughly the same for these CAP classes mm -hmm. if we hold them to 70%. So that's the issue for Andrew. For his math class, he's only finished 12%. Mm -hmm. And for a science class, he's only finished about 7%. Mm -hmm. So that's why these are still on as incompletes. Now, with incomplete just means we're going to put a grade in there eventually, but we can't until he finishes the work he's supposed to finish for the course. Okay. Yeah. So then my question to you, since he uh, has an incomplete in these classes, mm -hmm. um, then how does that uh, affect his credits? How many credits does he need to be...